Welcome to Booze in the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edward, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a London iced tea. Now, this is a variation of the classic Long Island iced tea that was created by Robert C. Butts. Now, I'll credit where credit is due. Robert Butts created a cocktail that, when made properly, is really easy to drink and doesn't have to be a night ender for a bunch of drunks, although it usually gets carried away that way. But having said that, now the London iced tea actually has six ingredients versus the eight that you'd find in a Long Island iced tea. And you can find the recipe side by side in the new craft of the cocktail by Dale DeGroff. And you'll find it directly on page 155. And again, like I said, literally side by side. Now, I don't know who invented this. It's just one of those variations that's cropped up over time. So let's get into making it. Now this is a shaken cocktail, so make sure you have your shaking tin or glass handy. But we're going to start with a little bit of lemon juice. So what we'll do is cut this in half and squeeze three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters into the glass. The second ingredient that we're going to reach for now is simple syrup. Now I'm using a one-to-one -one simple syrup being one part water, one part sugar, heated up till it goes clear. But we don't need a lot, we only need half an ounce or 15 mils. Our third ingredient is a dry style gin. Now I'm using Heyman's London Dry Gin. Get the gin that you like best and don't spend a lot of money, especially on a mix like this because if you're spending $50 for a gin, you're kind of wasting your money. So we don't need a lot, but we're going to go back to the three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. Next, continue on with the white rum of your choice. I'm using a little bit of Bacardi. Uh, you could, if you want to really fiddle with the flavor, go up with maybe just a slightly uh, dark rum if you like a funkier Jamaican rum or something that's a little bit lighter. Again, totally up to you because it's going to look like iced tea anyway. So, But we'll use the same amount, of 3 quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. Next, what we're going to do is add Amaretto. Now this is a deviation of the five whites, and really there's not five whites here, as you can tell, but this will give us a nice almond flavor and a little bit of that sweetness. Not to mention this stuff is fantastic in pretty much everything it goes into. But you only need a little bit. We're going to use half an ounce or 15 mils. Now that you've thrown all the base elements together, what we're going to do is shake this with some ice. So put your glass about three quarters of the way full with ice. And what you'll do is shake it nice and hard for a good 10 seconds solid. So make sure when you slap this on, got a good seal, give it a flip and shake it. Yeah, pop that off with the strength of a thousand lemons, put it off to the side and grab yourself your glass of choice. In this case, I'm going to use a highball glass. Um, if you've fiddled with the amount of the ingredients to give yourself more volume, use something like a pint glass, totally up to you. So just fill the glass up all the way with a little bit of ice. And you know what? Pour this directly on top, but just make sure. Don't do that. <sighs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Whatever that is, but that's okay. So what we'll do is just pour this on top like so. Fantastic color, just as it sits. However, we're now going to add a little bit of your favorite cola. In this case, we're using Coke. And what we'll do is we'll add three to four ounces, which works out to 90 to 120 milliliters. And you're gonna get this gorgeous looking color tea. It looks just like a nice tea. So what we'll do is we'll garnish this with a piece of lemon right after we give this a basic stir. Put that in, make sure you've got a straw. And away you go. Mm, you know what? Absolutely fantastic. It's a little bit more nutty because of the Almoretto. And you know what? Everything blends really well together. It's a fantastic drink with a little bit less booze. If you like a different variation of Long Island iced tea, take a look right there.